Hey guys, Mabeltel here. Welcome to episode one of my Cattails Wildwood story playthrough. Uh, let's get right into it. I'm gonna be starting a new game. I have three other save files from playing the demo alpha and beta, but today we're doing a brand new one for the full release. So I've already made my cat prepped way in advance, <laughs> but we'll enter their name here. Okay, and we'll hit my birthday, which close enough would be summer seven. For the customization, like I said, I've actually already designed this cat. You can see all my pelts from previous playthroughs and their kittens. Uh, here it is, Moon Final. I think that looks pretty good. We'll play the intro. I've seen it once before, but I'll show it off for you guys. Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual mediator of their world, the Forest Guardian. The word of the Guardian was law, and all cats revered them. From the sacred temple, the Guardian kept the balance over the Catlands, working for the benefit of all. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows, ruled over the hills, they built strong walls, and gathered prey for winter. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting places. A horrible rift was ripped open in the ground, Every cat shuddered with fear. Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found, and a new temple must be built, or else the guardian's spirit would not survive. Then the spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned, and they did not know what to do. A great meeting was called, and all the cats of the forest attended. Together they deliberated long over what must be done. The decision was reached that each cat should choose themselves a leader to follow, and set out to find new lands to settle. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life. You, Moon, a cat of great renown, offered to lead the group into the unknown, and build both a new home and a new temple. Soon, cats from every colony took up your call. Once enemies, now united by a common cause, you all set out to find a patch of earth to call your own. But the wilderness is fraught with danger, and there are threats on all sides. What will become of your colony? Will you lead them into a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. Oh, there you have it. That's what took place after the first game, if you've played that. Another day, another campsite to establish. This looks as good a place as any. Flat ground and good hunting nearby, according to the scouts. Let's all work together to ensure that we have adequate shelter and food before it gets dark. Aw, oh, do we really have to set up camp again? We just did that yesterday. When are we finally going to pick a place to settle down and stop moving all the time? I'm too tired to help out. My paws are sore. This is Spark. I married them in my last playthrough. I just think they're adorable. Will you quit your belly aching and lend a paw already? The job won't ever get done with that attitude. We'll settle down once we find the right spot. Haven't found anywhere that's got the right resources to keep us going. Moon will tell us when we've arrived. Isn't that right, Moon? Of course, Moon will make an announcement once we find our new home. For now, we've got to keep looking. We've all survived a difficult winter. Now that spring is here at last, our luck may finally have turned for the better. I suspect it will soon. Spark, we really could use your help. 
Where are you going to sleep if the shelter is not built? You're not my little kitten anymore. You're an adult. We all need you to pitch in if you want to be treated like one. Hey, Moon. I'm going to go out and hunt. In the meantime, do you just suppose you could help Spark feel better? I think Spark would cheer right up if they had some valerian to energize them. It's a pink herb that grows around here. Always put a spring in my step. I saw a huge cluster of valerian just south of here, across the brook. All right, I'm headed out to find some dinner. Remember, the valerian is just to the south. Best of luck to you. I love that all these cats from the first game have all traveled together. I miss all the ones that aren't in this game too, but it is nice to see at least some of them. This also reminds me of playing video games for my younger siblings. I'd always read all the text aloud to them. <laughs> there we go, we have the Valerian. Head back to our little camp. Moon is so cute. <laughs> all right, let's give that a spark. What's that smell? It smells like Valerian. Did you find some, Moon? Would you consider maybe giving me a little? I think it would really help my headache. And yes, open our inventory. Uh, I don't remember what that is. So we'll give that to Spark here. Yeah, I already read that bit. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm feeling better already. I can do this now that my headache is gone. I'm ready to help build the shelter. Thanks, Moon. Sorry for being such a stick in the mud earlier. Thanks for your assistance, Moon. I'm glad you found that herb. All cats appreciate a thoughtful gift. Giving out items that you find is such a wonderful way to make friends. Now we can continue working on the shelter. We'll take it from here. Good stuff. Oh, that looks a bit windy. <laughs> Those pesky, slippery little mice. Everything okay over there, Coco? You're looking a little stressed out, you know. I regret to inform you that I have returned empty-handed. Today does not seem to be my day. Perhaps someone else could try their luck. After all, we need to catch some food, or we're all going to get very hungry. I guess that job falls to us. <laughs> Moon, you've always been an excellent hunter. Would you care to accompany me? I'd be more than happy to point out where I smelled some prey. Yeah, we can do that. Yes, I think this will work splendidly. The mice are just to the east of the forest, then a little south. I'll lead the way. Okay, we'll follow Coco over there. Thanks for agreeing to help, Moon. Well, I didn't really have much of a choice. <laughs> Between the two of us, we'll catch plenty of prey in no time. Now, there's just the small matter of this dreadful breeze holding us back. Seems this narrow pathway has created something of a wind tunnel. It's picked up since I returned. Do you feel it, Moon? The gusts are low to the ground. I suspect that a well-timed dodge may be enough to avoid them entirely. Why don't you try to dodge the wind gusts and push ahead? Control. Okay. This is one move I actually never do when I'm actually playing the game, so I can never remember how to do it. Control. Okay, there we go. Ah! Okay. Excellent work, Moon. The clearing where I saw the mouse is just to the south. I'll meet you there. Do you smell it, Moon? There's a mouse hiding somewhere around here. There, it's a mouse. Now's our chance. First, you'll need to sneak up on it so it won't see you coming. Get in nice and close. The closer you are, the higher your chance of success. But don't get too close. If you do, the mouse will notice you and run away. Once you're near, pounce. If you're successful, you will have caught the mouse. If not, you can always try again on another mouse. Good luck to you, Moon. Yeah, I remember how to hunt well enough. Uh, I'm gonna pick this stuff up. The thistle, real quick. I think that's to help with swimming later. Ooh, we'll get this raspberry. Raspberry? Raspberry too. And now let's try to sneak up on that mouse. There we go. Easy enough. Bravo, bravo. You caught it. Great work, Moon. Turns out all I needed was a buddy, because I caught one too. Now we won't have to return empty-handed. There's all sorts of prey you can hunt in the wild. 
Use your nose to track them down whenever you get hungry. Speaking of hunger, I think I just heard your belly rumble. You must be famished from all the work you've been doing today. When was the last time you had a bite to eat? Good thing you have that mouse. You should probably eat it now so you won't starve. So yeah, we want to keep Moon fed so we don't take any extra damage. Yeah, I remember how to eat. There we go. That looked like it was tasty. Remember to always pay attention to your hunger. It isn't good for your health to go too long without a meal. Alright, we've done our duty. I have a mouse to bring back with us. What do you say we get back to the campsite and see how it's coming along? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Wait a minute, what on earth is that? I don't like the look of that. What if it's dangerous? We should investigate before we head back. Think you could check it out, Moon? Let's go check out the spooky pile. Oh no, that doesn't look friendly. Looks like you're on your own for this fight. I can't get through this wall. That's convenient. You can do it, Moon. Keep a level head, and I'm sure you can win. I'll give you some pointers. You can use your claws to swipe and deal some damage. It'll probably take a couple of hits to take it down, judging from the look of it. Be careful to stay out of the way of its attacks. Be quick and agile to avoid taking damage. I'll be rooting for you from here, Moon. You've got this. Uh, yeah, just space to attack. So this is a Voidling Cat, the main enemies in this game. Not too hard to defeat when there's only one. Nicely done, Moon. You made quick work of that thing, whatever it was. Oh no, looks like you've got company again. Watch out! Ah, too more to fight. Still shouldn't be too much of a problem. Two of them this time. What are you gonna do? Oh, I've got it. You may find it easier to defeat them with a charged attack. You can wind up your attacks to unleash a more powerful variant and launch yourself into battle. Try it out, Moon. Uh, yeah, you just hold space. Pretty simple. Uh, let's get some distance first. Try to stay out of their way here. There we go. You showed them. Well done, Moon. And the path to the campsite is open once again. I think when you defeated those Voidling cats, their shadowy wall went with them. What do you think those things were? Why did they attack us? You'll need to report this to the others. They should know if there's danger around. Let's head back to the campsite and let everyone know what happened here. Okay, let's head back. Oh, it looks like they finished building the shelter. Attacked by angry shadowy cats? That doesn't sound good. What if they're still out there, lurking in the forest just beyond our camp? What if we aren't safe? Jag is right. That sounds dangerous. But what are we gonna do? Strange voidling cats, you say. How intriguing. What a wondrous opportunity. I would love to spot one for myself so I could research its behaviors and properties. Hmm. The good news is, is that Moon was able to defeat them. That means we stand a chance, right? Whatever they are, they aren't invincible. I would sure like to learn more about them before the next time we encounter one. Oh, that looks like the Guardian appearing to us now. They have such a beautiful design. Greetings, Moon. Greetings, all mortal cats. I cannot long manifest my presence here. But I have chosen this moment to appear before you with fateful news. It's the Forest Guardian. We are honored to be in your presence, Great Guardian Spirit. I have missed you dearly these past few months. We all have. It is good to see you again, Coco, my old friend. Soon my power will wane once more. Without a temple constructed, I have no place to tether myself to the physical realm. But I have come with tearful tidings. Tomorrow you will all settle in your new, permanent home. I have foreseen it. We are not far now. Then a new temple shall be constructed. I shall abide with you all once more. A permanent settlement. Oh, this is wonderful. 
I think I speak for all of us when I say we are ready to be home at last. But what of the Voidling cats? Is it safe to build our town so close to such a threat? Yeah, that's a fair point. Do not fear the Voidling cats. Dangerous though they may be, I will teach you to overcome their power. Their very presence is the reason why I believe we must settle here. In time, you will understand. In ages long past, this region was known as the Wildwood. It has been uninhabited since time immemorial. When I felt the presence of the Voidling Cats, I had a sudden premonition that there was some good that we will be able to accomplish here. It is no mistake that you have journeyed to this land. Moon, I will teach you to speak with my voice so that you will have the power over the Voidling Cats. The skill I am about to teach you is known as Lion's Roar. Use it when danger is near and your enemies will scatter. Uh, so yeah, that's the first skill you get. Lion's Roar isn't really one I generally use because you can only have four equipped and I find there are a lot more interesting ones. But it's good to have it to start. You have done well, Moon. With time and experience, you will be able to improve Lion's Roar and use it to even greater effect. I have every confidence that you will be able to overcome the challenges that lie ahead. That sounded terrific, Moon. If I were a Voidling Cat, I'd be quaking in my boots. Is it true that we're finally going to have a home for ourselves? I can't wait to see it. I have to admit, as much as I like seeing the world, it would be nice to build a shop and slip back into the daily routine after all this time. I've gathered quite a large inventory while we've been journeying, and it's getting harder and harder to bring it with me when we move. I'm ready to stay in one place. Yes, and it would be nice for me to have a sterile environment for me to treat my patients. I could have a clinic again at long last. Do you have any idea how hard it is to treat a wounded cat while on the road? Aw, you mean all the work I did building the shelter was for nothing? We won't even need it after tomorrow. That's okay though. I wouldn't mind having a real home again. Then it sounds like we are agreed. Next, we should have Moon decide exactly what part of the Wildwood we should settle in. Ooh, I forgot I had to decide on this. <laughs> I have the latest scouts reports right here. These are the spots that I think would make a suitable home. Which one will it be? Okay. So here we have five options. The forest, which was the original default, so I have done it before. We have the meadow, which I tried last time. Then we have the mysterious swamp the beach, and the volcano. I definitely want to try one of these. Hmm. Swamp, beach, volcano. I kind of want to do the swamp just so I'm doing all the camps in order. Yeah, let's go with that. That looks like an ideal spot to settle. Great choice, Moon. Why, thank you. Now that we have a home, we're starting to feel like a real colony again. What are we going to call ourselves? Ah, oh, I have to pick that right now too. Okay. I think I did decide on this beforehand. I have it written down somewhere. Let me just have a look. Okay, I partially decided it. I decided I wanted to do Minnow after my very first cat when I played the first game. I designed Moon a little bit after her and the other cats I played. So I think that's fitting. And as for a colony title, what have I done before? I did Kingdom, I did Realm, and Clan, of course. So I want to pick something that's not one of those. Hmm. Kind of like Domain so far. Huh, a lot of choices. Minnow Alliance is kind of cute. Minnow Guild. Territory. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go with Domain. Oh, I need a title too. Okay. What have I done before? I did Overseer, I did Commander, and I did Leader. So something other than those. I don't really like Mayor or Governor. Captain is kind of fun. Queen is cute. King, yeah. I think I'm gonna go Captain, because that gives me pirate vibes and minnow, you know, kind of fits. Uh, for an emblem, I did select this beforehand when I did Art of Moon. It should be like a red leaf. Yeah, I think that's it. 
Glad I decided beforehand so I don't have to sit here forever deciding. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna go with that. The minnow domain. I like the sound of that. At first light tomorrow, we will travel to our new home. Let's all hear a cheer for Moon, captain of the minnow domain. That's cute. Like that. Oh, look at that. I like the water a little better than in the the uh, meadow one. The, this is more like nice and scattered around instead of so circular. Here we are, home at last. We've all worked very hard to establish the town, haven't we? This is your new den, Minnow. I hope the location is alright. If not, you can always move it later. Inside, you'll find everything you need to feel right at home. A bed to sleep in, a calendar, and even a scratching post to train your skills. Why don't you go check it out for yourself? You've had a long day. I bet some sleep would be nice. Awesome. Ah, oh, I kind of wanted to look around first, but I guess we can just head straight into bed. Gonna have to do some big decorations in here. The default's pretty plain. Let's go to sleep. Should autosave too, so that's always nice. Alright. Let's head out for the first time. Or get stuck in another cutscene. <laughs> Good morning, Moon. How did you sleep? There's one final thing we need to do before the Minnow Domain is officially moved in. We need to construct a new temple so the Forest Guardian has a place to live. Yeah, I can do that. Without the Forest Guardian, we won't have guidance and protection from the harsh wilderness around us. Come on, let's pick a spot for the temple to be built. This is the Founder's Stone. From here you can manage all the details of our domain. You can move buildings, view our stockpiles, change admis- change admis- Change administ oh God. <laughs> Change administrative details. It's a very important place for the captain to visit often. We're going to use the Founder's Stone to place the temple. Pick a spot. Any open plot will do. Okay, let's take a look at this place. Place the building wherever I want. Ooh, that's, that's actually kind of a cute spot. I might just put it there, to be honest. But let's have a quick look. Could be nice up here too, right by my house. Or this is a pretty obvious place to put something. I guess there's so many more open spots because we're going to be recruiting a lot of cats. When I played previously, you just get all the cats from the start. So that'll be really cool to see. So yeah, maybe I'll leave those obvious ones for houses instead. Um... Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling this. I'll have to put a bridge or something, but let's go with that. Oh, actually, can we put a bridge now? Cute. Maybe I'll change what my house looks like. Okay. Yeah, I want something like this. Just do a nice simple path just to make getting across the water a little bit easier. I wanna have a look at Moon's house too. Don't remember which ones I've done before. I know I did one of the cute little houses and then just more of a bush. So honestly, I might just keep it how it was. This is a little tempting, but it's like, it's kind of fancy. It's, maybe it's too fancy. We'll leave it as is for now. That's an awesome spot for the temple. Now we're officially moved in. Feels surreal, doesn't it? You should take some time to get acquainted with our new home. Walk around town or take a trip out to the wilderness. I'm certain you'll find something to do. There's plenty of good hunting and lots of herbs to forage outside of town. I'm sure everyone will love it if you stop by to say hi, too. When you're ready, come to the temple and we can formally welcome the forest guardian together. All right, I'll leave you to decide what you'd like to do next. See you around, Moon. Awesome. Okay. Well, I want to read the mail first. Got something from Crampy. About that their clinic is all opened. Uh, grand opening of Ember's store. And just a general, you know, we've made it from Coco. Very cute. Um, okay, let's go say hi to Spark. What's up? Catch any bugs today? There'll be a lot of bugs out tonight. They like the clear weather. I can't wait. 
Talk to Ellie too? Hi there. Lovely day to lounge about, don't you think? I'm Ellie, in case you had forgotten. <laughs> I know who you are. Ellie was one of the cats from the last game. They, uh, are able to change your name. That's like their special thing. Sorry if that sounded rude. Just that remembering names is kind of my thing. Ah, oh, there you go. If you're ever unhappy with your name, come see me and I can change it for you. Now that we're neighbors, I'm sure we'll be seeing each other a lot more often. If you're ever in the mood for a quick chat, just say so. I'd love to be able to get to know you better. I've got this annoying tuft of fur that keeps sticking up. I can't get it to lay flat on my head. How irritating. That's cute. Okay. This is the task board. Oh, let's grab this yellow ladybug. This is the task board where you can accept quests and such. We'll see what our task is today. Uh, catnip. Three catnip. I'll accept that. Why not? I'm gonna go say hi to Jag, too. They're one of my favorite cats. I'm Jag. I used to live in the northern mountains, back before the big move to the Wildwood. Yeah, they were like the guard of the mountain domain. Never thought I'd have to leave home, but here I am. Lots of good memories back there. Hopefully I can make some new ones here and get over it. I'm going to try to keep an eye on things around town for you. Some cats got to keep the peace and watch out for petty crimes and all that. I appreciate that, Jag. I'll do my best to try to keep quiet and stay out of your way as I go about my duties. This is a strange place to call home. I haven't ventured out away from town much, but from what I've seen, I don't want to wander too far anyways. Cats could get injured going off on dangerous adventures into the unknown. Yes, well, we don't want that. Uh, here you can see the map. Pretty huge. It's very difficult to try to claim the entire thing. Only these little ones are our territory for now. Um, we can go check out these battles too. Just gonna keep walking around town for a little bit. See if there's anyone else I can talk to. I want to put some bridges across some of these big water areas. Oh, get the little clinic open and cutscene. Ah, uh, um, Moon. Do please mind your steps and keep your voice down. We wouldn't want to wake this sleeping patient now, would we? This is, of course, the clinic. I use this space to treat the sick and wounded. When I'm not on active duty, I like to run scientific experiments in my storage room at the back. Word of advice, steer clear of that space if you wish to keep your whiskers intact. I love the little meow sound effects in this game. They're so adorable. That was some nap. I feel like a new cat. You were right, Crampy. All I needed was a little sleep and my headache cleared up on its own. Thank you for your advice. I'll take my leave now. Moon. If you are ever feeling ill, do what I did. Come and see Dr. Crampy. You'll be back to full health in no time. Good day. Another glowing review. You should have seen Coco mere minutes ago, complaining of a splitting head pain. I deduced that Coco was working too hard and simply needed a rest. Seems I was correct. Well, now that you've seen the clinic and know what I do best, like Coco said, if you're ever feeling under the weather, come and see me. I can treat almost any malady. Have a little talk with Crampy too. I had hypothesized that you would come say hello. Yes, I was off by a few hours, but I'm still refining my method. By the way, I am a doctor, not a bird. I know the mask can be a bit misleading. My apologies. Surely you already know that about me. I find it helpful to remind everyone from time to time. It is ever so easy to forget. If you're ever badly hurt or in need of a remedy for any malady, I am your cat. Now then, Moon, what might I be able to do for you? The clinic must remain a sterile environment at all times, so I keep my scientific experiments to the back part of the building. It may not look pretty, but it is very important work, I assure you. Crampy is such a goofy cat. A lot of fun to talk to. Anyone else out and about? Keep forgetting we actually don't have that many cats just yet. Uh, but we can check out Ember's store. Hey Ember, I found this peppermint and was wondering how much I could sell it for. Hello Jag. 
I can offer you five mews for that. Have you ever tried rubbing some peppermint on your fur? I've heard it can mask your scent and make it easier to hunt. Wait, I can use this peppermint to make it easier to catch prey? Wow, I hadn't thought of that. Maybe I'll keep it. Might try to track down a rabbit later. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. You know, I sell peppermint here at the shop. Are you interested in purchasing some extra? After all, a rabbit can be pretty tricky, so you might want to make sure you're fully prepared. You're right. I better make sure I'm ready before I leave town to hunt. I'll take three. Savvy business person here. That's great. Good doing business with you. Another happy customer. Oh look, it's Moon. Welcome to my shop. I have lots of useful items for sale. Feel free to browse any time by speaking with me. You can also speak with me to sell your extra items for some use. I'll buy just about anything you don't need. Well, have a look around and let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. We'll have a little chat with Ember here. Check out what they've got in stock. Oh, hello there, Moon. I'm glad you've come by. I'm just about fully set up and all moved in. I run a general goods store called Ember's Emporium. I hope you stop by for all your shopping needs. Oh, so if you see Spark, can you tell them that their shift started an hour ago? Being a parent is tough when your kid is so flighty. Uh, we'll chat first. Seems like some cats stop by the shop just to socialize with their neighbors. I think it's wonderful that I can provide a place for our community to come together like that. Of course, if they talk too long and end up getting hungry, there's a convenient meal waiting just behind the counter for a reasonable price. It's a real win-win. Uh, let's check out the shop. I do want to get the big pockets pretty quick. And the power paws are always nice. This one increases your vitality. So it gives you more hearts, basically. I like trying to collect all the furniture, too. I've never been able to buy it all in my playthroughs. There's just a lot of it. <laughs> Ah, and the music too. You can play that in your den. Okay, I think before we get going on any story stuff, I do want to go look at Moon's den. Maybe do some decorating. Salutations! Is there anything I can do for you today, Moon? Yes, so we're gonna do a little bit of renovation. Um, because you get 14 free spaces when you start. Last time I played, I did a room at the top here and then little rooms on the sides. I also maybe want to change the style to match the outside a little bit better. Also to something I haven't done before. Maybe that final one. Let's try that. Just put it everywhere so I can see how it looks. Maybe in this playthrough we'll just kind of make my main room a little bigger. Let's give that a go. I'm all finished. And let's see how that looks. Okay, that's really different. Okay, let's place stuff. Place furniture. So I like to just kind of get rid of everything at first because I'm not really sure what I'm going for yet. Keep the um basic stuff that like actually does things, like the scratching post you can upgrade your skills on. And I like having a little music player. Okay, let's see what other furniture we have here. Choose a bed first. I've done most of these before. Maybe I'll try this one today. We'll get a chest for organizing our things. Kind of just like the pile, that's kind of funny. The footlocker's cute too though. Let's try out the pile. I want some lights for sure. Can get pretty dark in here without them. Maybe like this ancient lamp. Um, I'm gonna put like a table down or something so those are not gonna stay right there. <laughs> yeah, okay. A log table. I don't really know what vibe I'm going for here yet. 
Could try that though. What kind of matches the log? Maybe like a little journal at the table. Little ink for it. If we're going for kind of like an ancient vibe with the lamps, maybe I could put like a pot down. Kind of matches. Maybe some more books. Okay, that one's huge. Let's try these. That's kind of big too, but get more books out of it at least. It's starting to come together a little bit. Ooh, crystal ball. Lots of glass. Could go for a glass thing. For that, maybe some windows. Maybe smaller? That's really small. It's kind of cute though. Some papers, a little pile of papers. Doing a pile thing, doing a glass thing. Why not? Okay, let's see what else is here. Wall items. I like putting our emblems up. I think that's kind of sweet. Though not even. That's better. <laughs> we could get some carpets. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good one. Kind of a big open space. But also we'll get more furniture later. And I don't want to totally fill this up. Yeah, honestly might leave it there for now. Nice. Okay. I'm feeling that. Okay, so I know Coco wanted me to go to the temple. So maybe we'll just go get this cutscene too. Oh, what is that door? That's new. That was not in the beta, as far as I know. This new temple shall bind me to the physical realm once more. You've done well in its construction. Moon, Coco, I thank you for your efforts. From my new home, I shall watch over our fledgling domain. There is much to be done here in the Wildwood. I sense there are threats on all sides. Well, I will do everything in my power to protect the town, you must understand that we will never be more vulnerable than we are today. By recruiting new cats, we can strengthen our community and better our chances of survival. This must be our highest priority. Oh yeah, okay. I saw this in the beta, but I never got to use it because I always already had all the cats. It's beautiful. What exactly is it? This is the Pillar of the Wildwood. I have created this powerful object to help us locate and recruit new residents to the Minnow Domain. There are cats of all varieties who dwell in solitude near the Wildwood. They will join us when they see that together we are stronger than we could ever be alone. Use the Pillar of the Wildwood to discover new cats to recruit to the domain. Each cat has differing needs that must be met before they can be recruited. By donating the correct items, you can fulfill those needs. Some cats, once recruited, will use their unique talents to provide new services to the town. All will strengthen the power of our community. Every new residence is a victory to be celebrated. This is important work, Moon. Please visit the Pillar of the Wildwood often. Very cool. Okay, let's see how this works. Ooh, cute. Okay. So do I have to like select these? Hmm. I want this one the most. Okay, so then you donate stuff here. Okay, a mouse, a squirrel, and a frog. Uh, I have void marrow. Can donate that. Then just some quartz and a scallop. I also have some valerian. So this is a little bit like the um, like the bundles in the first game where you have to collect stuff, but there's actually like. A really cool reward in getting new cats. Ooh, have some thistle. Can I have that? Cool, okay. I'm gonna have to collect these things. I have to go check out what this weird portal is. What is this? This is the new game plus portal. Glancing inside, you see a multitude of fractured realities dancing in a cosmic swirl. You cannot use the new game plus portal as you have not yet met the requirements. You must have at least one kitten to have reached maximum buddy level. Okay, interesting. I did that in my last playthrough, but I never came back in here to check it out. Okay, cool. 
looks like I'll just be doing some hunting and gathering for a while next. I probably should have taken a screenshot of all the stuff I have to collect. I'm not going to be able to remember that. wonder if it doesn't really show anywhere here, huh? Oh, okay, there is a section. Donate items. That's new. Yeah, we can get that stuff. Lots of fish. No problem. I kind of want to hit up those battles today, too. Let's check out this. Ooh, lots of mystery prey. Oh, I don't know if this is a fish we need, but let's catch it just in case. Or try, at least. Okay, whoops. <laughs> well, we can pick up this golden seal. That's useful for healing. Okay, let's try the fish again. Maybe try to like let it get a little bit closer. Okay, yeah, that should be better. Yes. Okay, what is this? A carp. I don't remember if we need that, but we might. Catch whatever this bird is. Maybe a finch or sparrow? Sparrow. Get this one too. Just gonna spend some time trying to collect as many things as I can. Okay, let's try this fight. Can try a lion's roar skill too. Ooh, it does make them run away, huh? Okay, they've killed all my allies, so this is a bit of an unfair fight now. But honestly, I think we'll still be able to take them. I'm gonna take that golden seal we found. Okay. One more. Shouldn't be a problem with this level of health. Nice. Oh, we get three toads for that. That's that's pretty good. Toads are kind of rare. Ooh, I want that. Was that a pigeon? Dove? I always get those ones mixed up. A pigeon. I want to check out the donation tab. Okay, we did need carp and a frog. That's great. I did not mean to scare that mouse away. I didn't see it. Get this bird instead. And let's head back to camp. I forgot where I lived for a second. Um, I guess we'll go drop some stuff off at the temple first anyways. Let's have a look. We can drop off the squirrel and one of the frogs. Ooh, just need a mouse. Um, and the catnip. Need a bit more of that. Drop off our carps. That looks like everything. Okay, I want to try to find a mouse and then maybe we'll end this for today. There we go. We can recruit one of my favorite characters with that. Catch this fish too. Donate that mouse. There we go, Talon. I absolutely adore this cat. And they bring squad assignments with them, which helps in taking up the map and gathering resources. Okay, we gotta go build them a house. It probably makes sense to have them pretty close to my house, as I like to talk to them every morning. Maybe like here? Cute. It is good to celebrate a healthy growing domain. Excellent work, Moon. Awesome. Yeah, we'll go have a rest. Go to sleep. Oh, kind of slipped off the bed there. Okay. You. I must speak with you. You think yourself mighty. You think yourself safe. 
young moon. You are not welcome here, interloper. Leave these lands or face the wrath of the wildwood. Your domain shall suffer if you do not heed these words. Do not test my patience. Be gone or beware. Spooky. I love it. So we gotta go talk to the forest guardian about that dream. But I think we're gonna leave that for next time. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching episode one of my Cattails Wildwood story playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed. I was super, super nervous about doing this, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, I definitely like to do it again, I think. Get the main story, which I have not played yet, even though I've played the beta. Uh, so yeah, see you guys next Thursday.